night. I don't know how well you can see me because it's still dark out. It is 6.40 a.m. Sunrise isn't for another couple minutes officially. Okay, so yesterday we had an extremely productive two hours fishing right before dark. Uh, we were trolling spoons and deep diving like reef runner style crankbaits around this point here on Amoeber. Well, that's beautiful. Uh, and caught four trout in the last hour and a half or so before and shortly after sundown. Um, three ounces of lead weight and anywhere from 150 to 180 feet of line out. Trolled in 40 feet of water seemed to be the trick. I'm marking a bunch of fish, so I need to put it down here. <clears throat> um, but the plan was to get back to that same exact point for sunrise. Here we are. So I'm going to be trolling that exact same point in the solo canoe today. Let's see if we can pick up more trout. They were everywhere on the sonar yesterday. So I'm hoping they're still here. Four trout we caught yesterday, 21 and a half we kept for dinner. We caught a 26, a 26 and a half, and a 28 plus, probably 28 and a half or 29 that we let go. <clears throat> Hopefully the good karma. Let's load it up. We're gonna catch a lot more fish today. Alright, I'm on my second pass here. Switched baits. Using a clown chrome husky jerk. Not hitting bottom anymore. <coughs> there we go, up to 36 feet. Whoop. Up to 34. to drag my lure. See if I hit bottom. The goal today is to work this reef at least for a couple hours. Or not this reef, this shoreline. <clears throat> Peninsula shoreline. At least for a couple hours to see if they're still biting in this area. It is just an absolutely beautiful morning to be trolling. Amoeba Lake is gorgeous. Just like that, I have a fish. On the turn. Well, that was cool. 70 feet of line out. Doesn't feel huge. But he feels like a keeper. Straight down now. There we go. Oh, he's off. Gosh darn it. surrounded by beautiful bluffs on a beaver lake. It's a very pretty lake. Lots of fun shoreline to fish. There's fish at the bottom 80 feet. Lots of good shoreline to fish. Tons of structure. Offshore reefs. We're working this one shoreline now and doing great. Why change it if it's working? I wanted to show you this bluff. Look at that. Oh. 
You went for it. These must be little trout. They're not engaging. We had another eventful morning after last night's good trout fishing. Eric caught his personal best 31 inch lake trout. They got some good pictures of that, but not on film. Gardner caught another 27 and a half incher and I caught a 26. The big trout are out and they're feeding rolling around the lake right now. Still on Amoeber. Loving this lake. Average size has got to be 26, 27 inches now. We only caught two under 23 and we kept an eight both of them. It's kind of a crappy, rainy, wet, windy day. Bodes well for trout, so we're excited. All colors are still just peak right now. It's a treat to be out here. There's fish all over the place, 60 feet down. Just don't know how to get them. He was on the sonar, he's not anymore, but he followed me really slowly. Careful, where are you going? What are you doing? He's on trip. He said he wasn't there anymore. I said hold me on this spot. I said he's off the sonar screen. My bait was too big, that was a big fish. Trout engaged, and this is probably why. Fouled. You were fouled. Watch this guy. Man. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now we've done it. Oh no, don't spider web. Don't spider web. 
so close to not spidering. <laughs> oh no, it's coming. Here we go. Okay, we're good. Okay, just take it easy because you got a lot of line here. I don't want to take it easy. I want to take it hard. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. I don't need you. Oh my god. Okay, you don't need me. That's right. Thank you. So I've been able to locate the trout. They're in about 40 feet of water, but they're not biting. So what I'm gonna try to do, I've got this shiver minnow, which is basically moonshine version of a jigging wrap or whatever they're called by Rapala. So I'm going to jig this back pretty aggressively, kind of like jigging a minnow. See if I can't get into some trout. Sixty feet right below me. It's fun. Laker on a jigging wrap. Very light, very light 14 pound test mono on it. It's like 40 feet of water. It has to be a trout. I'm not gaining anything on him. This is the fish. Oh, it's a jigging wrap. Who knows how long it'll pin him. Solid though.
is incredible. <laughs> yes. What the f is this? Please don't be a stick. Got him. Fish on. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, he's coming at me. I think this is bigger than that other one I caught. Oh my god. Really angry. He's just doing what he wants. Look at this. Guys, this is a really big. You guys, this is putting my 27-incher to shame. Oh my god. What you should do is come get my camera. Oh my god. We're coming. I got ice. Oh my. The fish isn't done yet. You can grab the front of this boat right there. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if it's 31, but it's really big. Oh, look at that whale. Here. He's gone. He's, there's no way. I think he has the whole thing in his mouth. This will help. I should take some pictures here. I don't want to stick. Document this shenanigans. I can't even see it. It's gone. Golfed it. Only 14 pound fluoro. Need another couple of reels. Shit. There we go. Perfect. Oh, oh it's yeah. Underneath. Oh, wow. Interesting. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that.
So does that even count? Foul hook? Oh, come on. <laughs> the door wall's trying to tell you to pull forward. I can't get it on video here. Push away from him a little. You want to measure it? Yeah, I will. Okay. Dorval? Yeah. He's at 30 feet, 30 inches. <laughs> he didn't cooperate. That's 30. 29 and three quarters, 30, 30 and a half. Well, it was definitely 30. If anything, it was longer, but not shorter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe you caught one bigger than that. Did you see the size of that fish I just pulled out of the water? He's jigging right where it's at. It's up on the corner. Over when I around by going to the other side of the lake. Oh my God. Just ripping it over and over again. Holding in 40 feet of water, right on that break. Oh my god. Them. All right, we got a big mark on the screen right on the bottom at 40 feet. A huge bucktail jig on to see if we can catch them. Dropping right on top of him now. Last time I wasn't ready and wasn't able to set the hook. Jigging along, decided I was gonna move spots, started to reel in. And this guy nailed it, about 15, 20 feet under the boat. Gosh, they're so pretty. second or so. Guess I deserve that. Can't tell? That's true. There's three clicks. Got me another medium plus. Ah. Gone? Maybe. Or really small. Yep. Oh, perfect eaters. Our average size has decreased about three or four inches today. <laughs> I wonder if the weather is doing something. Do that. They're just nipping the tail. Yep. Take a picture first. That's the smallest trout we've caught. This is the smallest trout we've caught. Maybe 18 or 19? Probably. I'm going to measure them. Might as well. Didn't measure the last one. 
I don't know why. 30 feet of water. Little guys are shallower. 20. 20 and a half with the tail pinch. I'm all right with that. Feel good? It's got some weight to it. Only got 80 feet of line out. This is perfect. If you're on camera, don't do anything stupid. I have the mat. I'm also happy to land it for you. That's easier. It hasn't fought yet. <laughs> it's just dead. Beautiful eater. He's asleep. He's <laughs> just not fighting. No point. Right on that point, bud. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah, man. Topaz Lake, 9.30 a.m. Tuesday. Beautiful lake. We made it to Cherry Lake. Cherry Lake. Woot, woot, woot. <laughs> Couple of easy portages in here, not so bad. Let me get set up to troll a little bit. Head to the Narrows campsite, which is hopefully available, otherwise, maybe a bummer. We're coming up on the first campsite right there, though. Huh? I'm guessing there's nobody on this lake. And now it's raining hard again. Yep. Whatever, I'm so already so happy. before you get to deep water anyway, right? Okay. It's just never gonna stop raining on this trip. Trout bait. <laughs> Biggest trout on this lake, though. You're funny. Wow. 
Guys, just think. Holy cow! Look how short and fat that is! Feel the nostrils on that bad boy. <laughs> My arms are tired. Whoa. Jigging for Lakers. 